Good morning and welcome to Preferred Properties of Texas Real Estate Radio. I'm your host, Case Horton, owner realtor of Preferred Properties of Texas Real Estate Radio. Thank you for joining me this morning here on KSTV, the Mighty 93. Um, starting off this segment, I want to discuss with you guys some cool stuff we got going or something kind of neat we have going on over at Preferred Properties right now. And that is we have a new texting program where you can text the word HOMES H O M E S to eight seven seven nine six five seven 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 five. That's Holmes H O M E S to eight seven seven nine six five seven 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 five. And what we can do with that is when you text us that, uh, we can set up a new listing alert for you to get listings in Stephenville, uh, not just uh, listings of us with preferred properties, but any new listings that happen to come up on what we refer to as the MLS uh, for this area of 76401 and some of the surrounding area that bleeds over into Dublin, Hako, Bluffdale, so on and so forth. Um, So it's a really cool new service we have where we can, like I said, uh, directly text you those listings and it'll give you a, a click to portal uh, to our website to where then you can view them and then when you get on there you can always you know get on and uh, set up your own custom search however you might like it uh, maybe you want to see a little bit more a little bit less of what's going on but anyways uh, so that's text homes h-o-m-e-s to 877-965-7775 and that'll get you a look at what's going on here in the area um, also I want to take a minute to uh, talk to you all about a cool development that some of you might not know about, just north on 108, uh, going out towards Huckabee on the right-hand side of the road is Walking Horse Estates. And right now in Phase 2, they still we have uh, numerous lots available, uh, anywhere from a minimum of 2,700 square feet, starting off at $42,000, uh, all the way up to um, the lots that are 3,200 square foot minimum homes uh, that are a little bit more. So depending on what kind of home you want to build, it's a deed restricted community. So you're not going to have to worry about, you know, somebody building a home that doesn't match the rest of the community. And that way it all kind of flows together well without actually having to worry about an HOA. And once again, that's out there at Walking Horse Estates, uh, phase two. And that's going to be on Highway 108 North towards Huckabee, just a few miles outside of town on the right. Uh, It's a great, beautiful little uh, community that's, been very well uh, planned and organized and it's a great place for you know folks looking to build the perfect home uh, of their dreams out there at walking horse beautiful tree lots Um, some of them you know if you don't want trees we got there's lots without trees as well but it's a great uh, property uh, beautifully managed and it's just north on 108 uh, going towards Huckabee on the right hand side of the road if you want to you can contact our office at 254-965-7775 and uh, ask one of our agents to help you out with that. You can also go to our website at www.preferredpropertiestx.com. That's preferredpropertiestx.com. And under our listings, there's a drop down for a page for Walking Horse specifically where you can go and see the different available lots for sale out there. And also, I you know more than invite you to please go drive on out there, drive around, Look at what they have, uh, you know, and then if you see a lot without a house on it or a, for, or a sold sign, then you can give us a shout and we can, uh, you know, talk to you about it, let you know what the restrictions are and how you go about, you know, starting out planning your build. We can help you find a, hook you up with a builder if you want to and, you know, point you in the right direction for financing. If you need to sell your current home before you can buy a new home, we can do that. You can do a bridge loan, uh, which would allow you to sell your current home while you're building your new home. There's all sorts of cool stuff we can do like that and help you uh, kind of direct you in the right way to go. So we're going to get our first guest in here right away. And thank you again for joining us here at Preferred Properties of Texas Real Estate Radio. Are you thinking about selling your home or buying a new one? If so, then not only do you need to think about which great agent you're going to use, but also which title company you're going to use. King Title has been providing title and escrow services for over 125 years to Erath County residents. Our team has the experience and the know-how to help get you to the closing table and provide title insurance for peace of mind down the road. Whether you're selling or buying a $200,000 home or a $2 million ranch, King Title will make sure that you're transaction is smooth as possible. That's King Title, serving e needs since 1893 and located in downtown Stephenville. 
Pates Hardware is a retail store with locations where people can buy lumber, hardware, home improvement, and construction-related products. For all your hardware, lumber, and construction needs, give Pates a call at 325-356-3177. That's 325-356-3177. Or check them out online, PatesHardware.com. Good morning, and thank you for once again joining me, Case Horton, your what am I? I'm the host, host of Preferred <laughs> Properties of Texas Radio. Wow. That's a long morning. And I'm here with Mr. Lowell Wilson with King Title. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for joining me again, Lowell. Yeah. Um, we're going to kind of get off. I know everybody's going to be so disappointed when they hear this, but we're going to kind of get off the survey train. Uh, <laughs> And we're going to talk. Be much disappointed. I know. I, I can hear the groans throughout <laughs> town right now. Going, oh man. Anyways, um, we were kind of discussing a little bit about this before the break, but the difference between oftentimes when there's the purchase of real estate, people will be like, "Oh well, I'm buying this house, and I would really love for them to leave this couch, or I'm buying this hundred acres, and I want to leave this tractor." And people will want to put that into the actual one to four family residence contract or the farm and ranch contract or whatever for that to convey with the property. And that is not a good idea. You really want to keep the real property in one contract and then do what we call the non really items amendment in a separate bill of sale, if you will, from the property. And why is that a, I mean, in your opinion, is that, is that, being the title guy, you know. Well, of course, as a title guy, what we do as a title yeah. insurance company is we insure the real estate. Right. Real right. property. Real property. Yes. So real property does not include tractors. Yeah. Doesn't include pivot systems and things like that. Yeah. But, Refrigerators. You know, you're with, <laughs> yeah. you know, let's say you're dealing yeah. with a ranch or something yeah. where somebody comes in, they want to buy, they want to buy the ranch. They want to buy the tractors. Mm-hmm. They want to buy the farm implements. They want to yep. buy, buy, you know, whatever irrigation equipment. All of that stuff needs to be listed in, like you said, the non-realty addendums. Mm-hmm. And as a title company, we will, will ask for an yeah. allocation of value for that personal property. Because right. we're going to limit the liability for the title policy to the value of the real estate portion. Yes. So we will ask for that if yeah. there's no value allocated. Yeah. And, I mean, I guess a rule of thumb, though, is regardless if you know, they're like, you know, it's turnkey – I'm selling it all. I'm selling it all with the farm, you know, and you still want to probably have those items listed individually in that non really amendment and at least Alec a dollar, you know, something to show that it's separate from the actual title of. So there's a paper trail, if you will. Well, you know, I've seen this both ways. I've seen it where all of these listed items were shown at a at an approximate value. Or a stated value, and then I've also seen it where they just allocate a zero value. To yeah, it. Um, and really, that's up to the negotiation between the parties. But I think the idea is to list everything that goes with the yeah. sale, every personal property item, and give as much detail as you can. Yeah. serial numbers, just brief description of it, year mm-hmm. model, things like that. Yeah, well, especially too because if it is a larger purchase and there is a lot of personal property, tractors, pivots trailers, whatever the case may be, um, if there's a large majority of those items, then the buyer wants to be able to go through after the close of sale or even on a final walkthrough and be like, check, there's the tractor, check, there's the pivots, check, there's the shredder, check, there's the get there's the, you know, loader or whatever. Skid steer, sure. Yeah, and, and make sure all that stuff's there prior to the actual sale. And then even after the sale to be like, hey, I got out here, and two days ago when I did the walkthrough, the tractor was here, and now it's not here. <laughs> right, right, yeah. And, and, you know, I think the more specific, the better to be able to identify the stuff, especially if there's a lot of personal property items yeah. to go with the sale. Yeah. Um, All right. Well, Lowell, thank you again for joining me this morning on Preferred Properties of Texas Real Estate Radio. Lowell Wilson with King Title. Thanks again. Thank you, Casey. Did you know there's a bank that will pay you to be its customer? That's right. Lone Star Ag Credit is a cooperative, and since it's owned by its stockholders, pays millions in dividends each year. That's free money to every borrower. Lone Star Ag Credit assures you a competitive interest rate on real estate loans, rural home loans, and even on livestock, farm and ranch loans. 
Contact Lone Star Ag Credit toll-free at 866-AG-LOANS or visit them on the web at LoneStarAgCredit.com. Equal housing lender. After my first car accident, I feared the biggest damage would be to my wallet. I expected a mountain of bills and a long, drawn-out process. But my Texas Farm Bureau insurance agent was there when I needed her and helped me get back on my feet and in my car in no time. Instead of a hassle, I got reassurance and a quick recovery. Visit Texas Farm Bureau Insurance today at tfbinsurance.com to find an agent who's there when you need them most. Coverage and discounts are subject to qualifications and policy terms and may vary by situation. When we moved to Texas, we were like fish out of water. We didn't know anyone in our neighborhood until our Texas Farm Bureau insurance agent came to the house. She was so helpful and reassuring, a friendly face with that Texan hospitality I'd heard about. When we purchased a Texas Farm Bureau insurance policy, we knew we were making the right choice. We knew our family would be protected. Visit Texas Farm Bureau Insurance today at tfbinsurance.com to find an insurance agent who's a true neighbor. Coverage and discounts are subject to qualifications and policy terms and may vary by situation. Call Ricky Thurman at 254-751-2246. Good morning, and thank you for once again joining us with Preferred Properties of Texas Real Estate Radio. And we are here once again with my good friend, Mr. Brandon Huckabee. Good morning, good morning. Good morning with Huckabee Inspection Group. And we're going to talk about um, bugs in specific we're going to take talk about we're going to take a talk about bugs on uh, the ones that kind of that everybody knows about, which are termites. Yes, sir. And tell us a little bit about what we're looking for or what the inspection does as far as the information that we can garner from a termite inspection Perfect. report. Perfect. Well, most people do call them termite inspections, but the technical term in the state of Texas is wood destroying insect. So it looks for any type of wood destroying insect, such as termites, carpenter ants, any kind of wood boring. There's a, um, Is there a wasp? There, there are wood boring wasps. <laughs> yeah. uh, there's bees. There's all kinds of different yeah. little critters uh, that are some native to here, some not, that, that can get into your home and cause destruction uh, to the wood components. Um, so we work with several different companies uh, that to do the, the, the uh, Inspection. WDI inspections okay. for you, um, and so we we try to centralize that, make that one point of contact for all all people buying a house. You call us, tell us what you need, and we get it taken care of. But what they're looking for is any kind of signs of active wood destroying insect, uh, whether that be termite tubes, actually seeing the insects uh, in their nesting type things or any kind of conducive condition. Uh, yeah. Like I think we've talked about in previous shows, soil levels too high, landscaping touching the house, moist conditions, um, because most of these things, termites love uh, love wet wood. And okay. It, 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 termites, it's been explained to me this way, termites like the path of least resistance. Yeah. And so when they get in their house, if, if you have wet wood, porches built on the ground yeah. uh, with the wood is one of the biggest things we see. You're, you're you're inviting those little things to get into your house and what most of the time they do and you'll never know you have them is because they get on the back of your drywall and they eat the drywall paper until yeah. they pop out somewhere yeah <laughs> so um then they're the, like then they're like the surprise house guests that yeah, nobody, that's, wants. You know, yeah. That nobody yeah. wants but but uh you know what what people do uh it, it is concerning when you do have termites but most of the time because they like the path least resistance by the time you've seen it, if you're living in the house or people are living in the house and they haven't totally left the house, you're able to treat it. Everything's going to be fine. Yeah. Um, you're not going to have massive amounts of damage. Um, these trees. So they're really not getting into like your studs for the most part. They have to be there for quite some time okay. and left untreated, un- checked. Uh, unchecked for quite some time to cause you really bad yeah. structural damage. Because those those studs in your house are going to be a the wood's more solid it's not really getting wet correct whereas your drywall is very correct and 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 permeable yeah and a lot of the times the places where you see them are going to be in bathtub wells where Mm -hmm. places any kind where plumbing comes up through your slab yeah because you've got openings from that dirt to that slab it's wet yeah uh, type of areas now ants uh carpenter ants is one of those things where um, we talked about tree limbs in one of yeah. the last shows. When you get when you get your landscaping too close, you allow those ants to get in spots, okay. and, and they can eat hardwoods as well. So okay. um, they're they're red on the front, black on the back. Yeah. Uh, they're bigger, and if you see those guys 
Um, they're they're easy to treat as well. Yeah. They treat with a powder through your okay. attic, and you should be good. Well, good deal. Well, thank you again, Mr. Brandon Huckabee with Huckabee Inspection Group for joining us this morning on Preferred Properties of Texas Real Estate Radio. We'll thank see you me. next week. Thank you, sir. Talk to you when your realtor walks you through a prospective house, do they take you onto the roof, into the attic, or crawl space? What about a look inside the electric panel? No? Then how do you know what you're actually buying? Hi, I'm Brandon Huckabee, and that's only a small example of the areas we inspect that can cost you tons of money when you buy a new home. Huckabee Inspection Group is a full-service residential and commercial inspection company. We have four licensed professional inspectors on staff with decades of experience ready to serve you. Give us a call at 254-964-8500 or drop by our new office in downtown Steve even go across from skinnies peace of mind guaranteed are you thinking about selling your home or buying a new one if so then not only do you need to think about which great agent you're going to use but also which title company you're going to use king title has been providing title and escrow services for over 125 years to erath county residents our team has the experience and the know-how to help get you to the closing table and provide title insurance for peace of mind down the road whether you're selling or buying a two hundred thousand dollar home or a two million dollar ranch king title will make sure that your transaction is smooth as possible that's king titles serving Erath County residents, land title needs since 1893, and located in downtown Stephenville. Good morning. My name is Case Horton. I'm the, your host with Preferred Properties Real Estate, Preferred Properties of Texas Real Estate Radio. And I'm joined here in studio again by Mr. Law Wilson with King Title Company. And we're going to have an interesting conversation today about when somebody buys an investment property for cash... Yes. And then they then need to take equity out of the home and then get lender financing on the property and where you could run into some hiccups as far as how you had your title policy done at sure. that point. Well, the hiccups are going to arise um, on, from the title company when we get ready to insure your lender's lien. Mm-hmm. So, so let's say you're an investor. You come from out of town, you want to buy a house in town, you want to rent it out to college students, and you decide to get the deal done quickly, I'm going to yeah. pay cash. Yeah. So you do that, you get it closed, you close through a title company, Okay. Um, and then maybe a month or two later you decide, you know, I want to pull some of that equity out. Yeah. Uh, do you talk to your lender? The lender says, sure, let's see if we can get a title policy. So what we look at when we get ready to insure that type of loan is, um, you know, are you purchasing individually or did you purchase this property in an entity? Yeah. And then the second thing is if you did purchase individually, where is your Texas homestead? Okay. Because we can only uh, insure certain liens against homestead property and okay. we need to make sure that this investment property is non homestead. All right. So one of the and things. Is that we, in the title policy where that, that is? That is a title policy requirement. Oh, okay. Because because in Texas, we can't advance cash or we can't insure the lender's cash advance loan on this property unless it's not homestead. Okay. And so I see people get in trouble sometimes, especially maybe newer investors that maybe don't own a lot of other properties yeah. that maybe just want to buy this first house as a, as a rental, uh-huh. but they don't think about this idea of trying to draw cash out um, yeah. in the future. And so one one of the rules of thumbs I've I'll, I'll always heard is if you're an investor and you're buying investment property, talk to your attorney and maybe set up an entity yeah. to acquire the property because an entity doesn't have a homestead right. Yes. And so we don't have the same concerns when insuring a lien on that property uh, if it's owned by an entity. Okay. So... And when we're saying entity, just to clarify that, you know, sure. you have different entities. You can have a sole proprietorship. You can have an LLC, a limited liability company. You yes. might be, and I guess probably with the, what we see a lot around here with the smaller investors, most of them will probably have an LLC. That's right. LLC seems to be the preferred vehicle. Yeah. Uh, you could have a corporation, but most of the time we'll see an LLC. Yeah, because the... Just having one or two pro now I'm assuming probably like some of your bigger guys that might only you know hundreds or fifty or so rental properties or some apartment buildings probably have a S corp of some kind. They they could or they may have multiple entities. Yeah. A lot of bigger uh, investors will just have an entity that owns an apartment complex at such and so address, yeah. and they'll have a separate entity that owns another yeah. property at a different address. And the reason why is to separate those assets to protect yeah. them. 
Um, but you know, the, the thing is, if you're an investor, it's probably a good idea to sit down and talk with an attorney about maybe setting up an entity to right. hold these properties. Right. And um, I would suggest anybody that is wanting to go into the investment game, not only do you talk to an attorney about setting up entities, but also discuss with an accountant sure. what kind of tax liabilities and things that may or may not occur when flipping properties or renting properties and things like that. And that is a very good recommendation case. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so, all right. Well, Lowell, thank you again for joining us here this morning on Preferred Properties Real Estate Radio um, to talk to us about investment cash and then financing options. And sure. we appreciate you coming in with hey, King th- Abstract. Yes. Thank you very much, Case. Right, thank you. Pate's Hardware is a retail store with locations where people can buy lumber, hardware, home improvement, and construction-related products. For all your hardware, lumber, and construction needs, give Pate's a call at 325-356-3177. That's 325-356-3177. Or check them out online. Pate's Hardware. Hardware.com. Did you know there's a bank that will pay you to be its customer? That's right. Lone Star Ag Credit is a cooperative, and since it's owned by its stockholders, pays millions in dividends each year. That's free money to every borrower. Lone Star Ag Credit assures you a competitive interest rate on real estate loans, rural home loans, and even on livestock, farm and ranch loans. Contact Lone Star Ag Credit toll-free at 866-AG-LOANS or visit them on the web at LoneStarAgCredit.com. Equal housing lender. Good morning, and thank you for joining me this segment of Preferred Properties of Texas Real Estate Radio. In studio with me again this Saturday morning is Mr. Matt Todd with Pates Hardware. How are you doing this morning, Mr. Todd? I'm good. How about you, Case? Good, man. Thanks for joining me again this morning to discuss the fascinating world of paints and stains. We can talk about that. Yeah. uh, But we're really going to talk about it because, obviously... um, you know, we've talked. We've been talking a lot about outdoor living and outdoor stuff. And one thing that always kind of fades with time is paint and stains. And you know, when you put in your pergola, you probably need to stain it. I'm assuming. Yes, sir. Is, am I correct? Yeah, so you are. What do you got that'll help us or help the DIYer keep that pergola looking pretty? Well, in all of our stores, we keep a wide selection of both paints and stains. Um, we do like the Ready Seal stain. It's a Texas product, and it's offered in, you know, all the colors that you would pretty much use in our area. You know, from light oak, pecan, um, you know, burnt Steve. hickory, redwood, <laughs> yeah, the natural cedar, yeah, on that as well. But um, we. And what's the benefit to staining to using the stain for the pergola? Well, you're going to want to protect it yeah. basically, and that's what the stain allows you to do. But then you're going to have it, you know, more than likely with new construction, add-on, you know, remodel, whatever you're doing, you're going to want it to probably match something that you're doing Mm -hmm. as well. So that's the advantage of having the different colors and samples that we can provide. Okay. So outside of the, the stains, you know, it could happen where you build this pretty new deck in this pretty new pergola, and then you're standing and you're staring at it and you're looking at your house and then you notice as you look at your brand new pergola and deck that now your house is kind of looking a little <laughs> might have something worse to, for the wear. So what, what, what can we do about that? <laughs> well, a great product to come back on that with, you know, like our hardy board, the yeah. uh, concrete board. Um, and it's offered, you know, four by eight sheets or it's offered an eight inch, you know, uh, textured lap siding yeah. as well. And you're going to see a lot of that, especially in the new construction that's going on nowadays. Yeah. But that product is just like brick. I mean, you put it up and it's going to weather the storm, so to speak. Yeah. And I'm sure that, you know, for all the guys listening with their wives right now, thinking, thank y'all so much for extending my list of honey of honeydew projects. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we're here for, man. Yeah, exactly. So, but even even then, I do have a quick question. So let's say, if, you know, we talked about the, what about, um, like, if somebody wants to stain their concrete, they might have a concrete deck or slab area that they're covering with. Do y'all have stains and stuff like that for the concrete that you, people can use? Yeah, the Benjamin Moore product, um, which all of our stores were Benjamin Moore dealers. We do have that available as well. And 
can come in and um, you know the guys can get that mixed up for you and get it shooking for you take okay. home go do it and how would you apply that so we carry we're a Wooster dealer and Wooster is just a name brand in mm-hmm. like your paint and sundries industry okay um, it's a good commercial brand wash the showers no 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 Wooster <laughs> Wooster now you the painters out there will know exactly yeah. what you're talking about okay. and that's a product that we even have you know a lot of women that come in that are doing it they'll recognize that Wooster brand they'll come in and ask for that by name as well yeah my, my wife does all the painting with me because i grab too much when she asked me to do there it. you go yeah. that's the way you get out of it <laughs> yeah it is you start screwing up a lot and whine a bunch and then she's fine yeah, just, you just go just go something do something else, else. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but no all of our stores all have a good paint and sundries um department there and well you know like i said the ben moore is a good brand had it for quite a few years very happy with it and we'll get it mixed for you shaking for you ready to go home start another project all right good deal well mr matt todd with pates hardware thank you again for joining me this morning on preferred properties in texas real estate radio thanks guys appreciate it after my first car accident i feared the biggest damage would be to my wallet i expected a mountain of bills and a long drawn out process But my Texas Farm Bureau insurance agent was there when I needed her and helped me get back on my feet and in my car in no time. Instead of a hassle, I got reassurance and a quick recovery. Visit Texas Farm Bureau Insurance today at tfbinsurance.com to find an agent who's there when you need them most. Coverage and discounts are subject to qualifications and policy terms and may vary by situation. When we moved to Texas, we were like fish out of water. We didn't know anyone in our neighborhood until our Texas Farm Bureau insurance agent came to the house. She was so helpful and reassuring, a friendly face with that Texan hospitality I'd heard about. When we purchased a Texas Farm Bureau insurance policy, we knew we were making the right choice. We knew our family would be protected. Visit Texas Farm Bureau Insurance today at tfbinsurance.com to find an insurance agent who's a true neighbor. Coverage and discounts are subject to qualifications and policy terms and may vary by situation. Call Ricky Thurman at 254-751-2246. When your realtor walks you through a prospective house, do they take you onto the roof, into the attic, or crawl space? What about a look inside the electric panel? No? Then how do you know what you're actually buying? Hi, I'm Brandon Huckabee, and that's only a small example of the areas we inspect that can cost you tons of money when you buy a new home. Huckabee Inspection Group is a full-service residential and commercial inspection company. We have four licensed professional inspectors on staff with decades of experience ready to serve you. Give us a call at 254-964-8500 or drop by our new office in downtown Stephenville across from Skinny's. Peace of mind, guaranteed. Well, thank you everybody for joining us once again on another episode here of Preferred Properties of Texas Real Estate Radio. I think we've had a great show today with all of our different sponsors and experts, if you will, with Pates Hardware and uh, you know Texas Farm Bureau king title and huckabee inspection group kind of letting us know some different ins and outs of real estate and you know whether it's insurance or diy or uh things that go on with the title and the deed to inspection reports and things you need to look at when it goes in with that stuff you know they they've done a real good job of kind of helping explain that for everybody to better understand and i really appreciate everybody's uh input and uh, contributions to the show when it comes to those aspects of the program. Um, I also want to just take a minute with you. If you know any of y'all are thinking about buying a property, you know, I'd like to tell you about some great properties we have. Uh, for instance, 14902 on FM 914. It's on f- a little over 49 acres. Beautiful uh, Austin Stone custom built home, gourmet kitchen, custom rock and wood throughout the house. It's just a perfectly immaculate house a uh, great little cabin off the to the side of it for you know rental maybe you don't want the in-laws staying right with you it's a good place to put them um and it's a great you know urban flight getaway if you will uh large home good good amount of acres for anybody looking for that and also you can get high speed internet up to 100 megs out there for those looking to, for a great place to get away and work from home and it's a beautiful property like i said at uh, 1402 fm 914 here in stephenville uh 49 plus acres large 3,000 square foot custom built austin stow home with gourmet kitchen uh it also has a casita on it you know for maybe if you want mom to live with you and a great cabin too for additional guests so if you're interested in that property please give us a call at preferred properties of texas at 254-965-7775 and also if you're looking for something um you know if you're looking for 
a great horse property. We have a 1245 Farm Road 1824 out towards Heiko, and that property is a large home. It's a four-bedroom, four-bath, has a barn on it, pool, um, over 100 acres of uh, land. It's got a good 38 acres of coastal on it, so 500-foot deep uh, well into the Second Trinity, large four-stall barns, two loafing sheds, grooming area, tack room, whole nine yards for all you horse folks out there that are looking for a place to you know, uh, take out the horses, you know, move your horses into. I know y'all probably don't care about the house as much, but if you do want a nice house, it's a great nice house with a nice barns as well. And that's again out there at 1245 Farm Road 1824. And right now is a great time to look at buying a property with interest rates still super low. Uh, you know, and it's a great time to invest in trying to upgrade your house and you know getting top dollar for the current house you're in as well or selling your, your land if you will if you're looking to do that and we can help you out if you're looking to sell your land and maybe you want to do a 1031 exchange uh, we have uh, agents that can help you with that as far as you know buying that current property and finding your like kind as in if you like that kind of property and you want to buy it and sell your current one we can help you with that process of the 1031 exchange as far as uh you know buy, buying a new property whether it's a maybe it's a new ranch if you will or some new farmland or maybe you're looking to do rental property with a commercial um, or even residential uh, apartments and things of that nature we'd love to help you out with that as well Uh, once again thank you for joining me case horton with preferred properties of texas real estate radio here on kstv the ninth mighty the mighty 93 and once again i'd like to thank my sponsors uh huckabee inspection group texas farm bureau insurance Uh, King Title and Pates Hardware. So we look forward to seeing you again next week. Thank you again.